بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم What the younger generation are really looking for, more than anything else, is a place they can go to and just be themselves. I never felt as though I was truly involved in anything. I never felt like I really was a part of anything, making anything different, making anything better. They need like the reinforcement to know that they have somewhere they can go to rely on besides their home. I myself want a place where my children can go and meet their friends and relate to one another. And having a sense of identity is important, I think not only for us as the adults, but more importantly for the children who are growing up in this country. Our vision is to have a place of worship and education in Kentucky to promote and spread Islam and focus on building communities. 30 years ago when I took my Shahada and became a Muslim, we were meeting in a old storefront. We have had such an influx of people into our community over the past 10 years. We've got a large Bosnian contingent in this city. We've got Arabs, Pakistanis, Indians, uh, all Asians, Middle Easterners, Americans, um, Africans. We have to be able to serve our whole life, not just, you know, the post, you know, professional life of coming to the Mudge of a Friday prayers. Whether it's a birth of a baby, whether it's a sick uh, family member, we have to meet the criteria for houses of God. This center will try to provide a full range of services. My husband and I used to go to Jummah prayers on Friday with the family all the time, but I have chosen to hold back now. It's it's a great experience, but it's so crowded. Everybody knows that we've we've had to pray here where it's it's overflowing. God is pure, just, fair, unbiased, accommodating, tolerant. You know, we could probably get 600, 700 men praying and probably 350 women praying upstairs. You can obviously use the community center downstairs and you can at least get another 500 people down there. Learn and teach. That is what Islam is all about. Post 9-11, you know, Muslims are in the business of perception alteration. You're putting your best face forward with a place like this. The obvious beauty of the masjid will kind of enable people to come up to us more and question, I mean, what goes on there and what is this like? There have been a lot of people that have driven by so far, just anybody off the street, and they're not Muslim, and they swing by and ask, what is this? And then they say, can I come and see it when it's done? You know, of course you can. Education is the catalyst. In fact, it is a vehicle to bring all things together. It has to instill the conscious has to instill the moral values. Our student population has increased to almost 100. Unfortunately, because we have, uh, we are limited for the space, um, so we couldn't accept more children. We are looking to have that big school, Muslim school, that we can say, okay, we have a science lab, we have an art room, so we have a library, we have uh, all of that extra. All those things are going to be provided in this school. It's really going to be something. When we die, um, our families get together for funeral services and our friends. And um, it's really difficult when you don't have that hall or that place where all your family can get together. And you have to sometimes even beg the funeral homes to give you a space where you can um, do namaz for your dead and then bury them. The moment that a Muslim steps foot in this property, the sense of ownership, the sense of belonging is immediate. It's a place where you feel like you could bring a non-Muslim friend, sit down, have a cup of tea, just discuss things, and, and start to change perceptions. This is a community-wide effort. We were just explaining to the children that when you give in charity, you feel you've lost something. But God says in the Qur'an, in our holy book, that what you give in charity, you actually keep it. 
Where do you keep it in the hereafter? It's such a wonderful gift you can give to our kids. We see them after our main religious services on Friday prayer, and they try to encourage us to pay higher and higher. Like one of them, they get a dollar, one of them, they get five dollars, one of them, they get fifty dollars. It's really very good for them. And I think it's really important for all of us, and I hope, inshallah, this all will be made, and that God will give us the ability to raise more funds and give my family the ability to donate more. We're three quarters of the way done. We need the final push. People need to come and see the place, to see our school in progress, to see our children. Who you hang out with, who you spend time with, affects who you are. This is an opportunity for our children to grow up together. Together we can achieve a lot. We kind of are one, and that's the way it should be.